Hey everyone, welcome back to Brownlow Books. I uh, have a book review for you. It is a new book, um, quite quite literally, published on July 12th of this year, 2022. Uh, I was given an uh, advanced copy by the publisher. I did start reading it before the 12th. I didn't get it finished before the 12th. Today's like, what, the 13th, 14th? Today's the 13th. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. You're gonna see it next week. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. It's a, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So the book I read was Fire Season by, oh my god, Lena? Lena? Crow? Crow? Oh my fucking god. I'm the worst. Let's go with Lena Crow. Cr no, Crow sounds, Lena Crow? It's that. Go look that. <laughs> okay. So as I said, I did get an advanced copy. That's not a, that's not affecting my review because I actually really enjoyed this. This is no Corinne over here. I enjoyed this. <laughs> um, it is sort of like a western. It is you know the the frontier in uh, Washington territory. It's not a state yet. Uh, 1889. So you know, wild west. Not really wild west. Anyways. Uh, it's told from three different perspectives, but instead of it being like boom, 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 boom all over the place, it's like one guy, one guy, one gal, which I really enjoyed. So we have Barton, who is a banker. We have Quake, who is a con man. And we have Rosalind, who is a certain kind of woman. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Um, <laughs> so uh, the perspectives, those three, Mostly, there's like little interludes telling stories of like different times. Not enough to worry about. So, from their perspective, it's all around the three of them. Basically, what happens is town burns down. Spokane Falls burns down. Banker sees an opportunity. Con man sees an opportunity. Certain kind of woman sees an opportunity. That's, that's literally all I'm going to purposefully tell you. I might, uh, <laughs> might split some stuff by accident. So, it is a very character-driven novel. It is not... I mean, despite the fact that there's a fire in the first 20 fucking pages <laughs> that burns down almost a whole town, like all the downtown of this town, it's actually quite character-driven. It is not, like, interesting things happening, happening, happening. It is, it is very character. If that's not your kind of thing, that's fine. So yeah, historical fiction, bit of magical realism. Um, a lot of people, a lot, there's 10 reviews for this online. Um, <laughs> a lot. Some people <laughs> said they didn't like the slow start to it. Which I question because it's not that slow of a start. Like the town literally burns down before page 20. <laughs> it is a lot of, you know, talk 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 but like it's character driven it's not like a bunch of fucking shit's gonna happen all the time I uh I didn't find it was a slow start like I read people found it was a slow start and I was like really I didn't I didn't get that um so as I said it is a western normally I'm not big into like a western um mostly because there's not a lot of women, and if there are women, they're not really usually part of the story. They're like something that moves it along. They have no agency of their own kind of thing. It's just kind of like, oh, there's a woman there and I use her. Mm, great. Fantastic. Oh, she's a barmaid. Oh, she's a prostitute. Oh, whatever. And it's just kind of like, <sighs> great. So that's why I'm not usually a Western person, but I did really enjoy this. This gave me vibes of like... Patrick DeWitt's The Sisters Brothers. I got a lot of that from this. And I enjoyed that book. That book kind of got me back into reading. Like that was the first book club pick of the book club I'm in. And I kind of exploded back into reading from that. So like this gives me that vibe. I really enjoy that. If you know the Sisters Brothers, it's not your typical Western either, because they're going, like, gold panning <laughs> and, like, 
it's not, you know, rock and shot and <laughs> friggin' shoot everyone, Indians all over. Yeah, no, it's not that kind of book. I do not like that kind of book. Mm. I like this book. It's, uh, it's a little more clever. Not just, you know, actually I'm not sure anyone gets shot in this book now that I'm thinking about it. It's very not Western. Um, but yeah, so it is, it is the historical fiction, 1889 in the West, Washington Territory. Big old fucking fire, banker con man, certain kind of woman. And it's just, it's got that, it's got that same thing that I had in The Sisters Brothers, where there's like this tiny bit of like magical realism, but it's like not, it's like, it's like inside their head, not outside their head. So it's got that kind of thing, which I enjoy. So I mean, this, this was a fucking surprise for me. I was like, I got it and I was like, oh yeah, I think I remember what this kind of, what this book is about. I put it on my pile for like the, the dates that it has to be done. And I was like, okay, I'll pick this up now. You know, it's around the time. And I was like, ah, and I started reading it. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what did I get here? It was, it was a pleasant surprise. I really enjoyed this. I just, I enjoyed this. It's good. So, um. It has 20 reviews on Goodreads, <laughs> which is so disappointing to me. I hope that this is one of those books. Okay, when I read The Yellow Wife, I had read an advanced copy, and I loved it. And I was like, it's kind of horrible. I loved it. <laughs> and I was like, I want more people to be reading this and looking at this. And like, it took so long for people to kind of pick it up and understand how good it is. And now I see people talking about it all the time. I'm hoping that this book goes in, like, I... It, it might not get much now. I hope it fucking takes off. It is a good, like, it is a good book. Like, the women are not just fucking, like, well, women. The woman <laughs> is not just, you know, some words on a page. She feels like a real human being with, like, thoughts and emotions and things she does. And it's just like, this is beautiful for our Western. <laughs> so, <laughs> like I said, 20 reviews. 20 ratings, 10 reviews. Uh, out of the 20 ratings it has 4.2 stars <laughs> so good <laughs> it's a good rating but it's also a low number so but yeah this book good book do recommend um I will actually be giving it four stars myself so there's that <laughs> uh thanks for hanging out thanks for listening Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.